Dr. Kluge, um, ministers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, um, today, dear Hans, I'm particularly happy for three reasons. Uh, the first is that uh, I'm back at work uh, after uh, having spent uh, a week in isolation at uh, home with minimal symptoms. Uh, I can assure you from personal experience that vaccines do work uh, and that they do keep us safe and that they prevent us uh, from getting seriously sick uh, from a virus that continues to be um, uh, particularly dangerous. And uh, it is indeed uh, fitting that my first uh, uh, a public uh, event is coinciding with uh, this very important day, very important day for the WHO, um, its uh, um, uh, regional um, uh, presence uh, in Europe, very important day um, uh, for Greece and for uh, our healthcare uh, team. I mean, the official uh, opening of the WHO regional uh, office on quality of care. I would uh, like to take this opportunity to thank all those uh, who contributed towards making uh, this a reality, starting from uh, Minister Yuriadis, who first um, established this relationship with the WHO um, uh, back in 2013 uh, during very difficult times. Uh, um, uh, Minister uh, Kikilias, uh, um, Minister Plevris, uh, um, Alternate Minister uh, Gaga, uh, uh, Deputy Minister uh, Rapti, our Secretary uh, General, who are with us here, Dr. So the this is a very important um, uh, day for Greece, and I'm sure that, uh, uh, dear Hans, you would not have been here as WHO if you were not uh, uh, convinced about our vision, not just to support this office, but to implement the best practices uh, as they are being um, um, produced uh, by your wonderful team uh, of experts. Uh, as we uh, emerge uh, uh, from the pandemic, uh, we have an uh, obligation, obligation to Greek citizens to further strengthen our national health care system, uh, to make it more resilient, <coughs> and to make sure that uh, we place a particular emphasis on quality of care. You know the work we've done in terms of uh, setting up a specialized organization to measure quality of care. And I do want to stress the word measure, uh, because uh, what uh, cannot be measured uh, cannot be properly uh, evaluated and hence cannot be properly uh, uh, improved. The pandemic highlighted the strengths but also the weaknesses uh, of our national um, uh, health uh, uh, system. I want to pay uh, tribute to the phenomenal work that was done by all our healthcare professionals during a particularly um, difficult uh, um, uh, times. Uh, we all uh, struggled over uh, uh, two years uh, with an unknown uh, enemy, and uh, we're not completely done yet. Um, uh, and uh, we need to uh, think about living with COVID in the long term, what this will mean for our vaccination policies um, uh, come the fall. Uh, what does this mean in terms of our uh, basic, uh, uh, basic precautions? Uh, uh, but uh, COVID also highlighted uh, uh, the fact that, unfortunately, uh, in Greece, and we have to be very honest here, the quality of uh, health care uh, unfortunately, is not equitable. Um, uh, and uh, that is one of my main concerns. I want to make sure that uh, in Greece, regardless of where you live, regardless of whether you have access to a regional hospital or a top a university hospital in one of our big cities, that we have uh, uniform standards regarding um, uh, quality uh, of care. This, of course, means that we uh, look at uh, health care as a continuum, starting from uh, public health and prevention moving to primary care, where we are uh, initiating a very important reform, uh, looking again at the way um, our hospitals function um, uh, and look at post-hospital uh, uh, post care. Uh, we have uh, very, very ambitious uh, uh, goals, and we want you to be partners uh, in this, uh, in this uh, uh, effort. Uh, we are big believers, as I told you, in evidence-based um, public policy. And we're here to break down silos, uh, vested interests, uh, uh, and all those who do not look at healthcare from the perspective of the end user. And the end user um, is a citizen uh, who deserves better healthcare, especially in this complicated post-pandemic world. And of course, the third reason why I'm very happy uh, is because uh, you took note of what I told you uh, in, in, in our meeting, and you are launching here. Uh, a, a regional program, which I'm sure will be expanded also beyond the European region um, regarding uh, uh, 
best practices for mental health for children and adolescents. Uh, this is an area I deeply uh, uh, care about. Uh, children and adolescents are the, um, the most vulnerable parts of our uh, society. We do not talk uh, enough in Greece about mental health in general. We talk even less so when it comes to mental health uh, of our children and of our teenagers. We need to break down these stigmas, these uh, uh, taboos, and make sure that in this very difficult and, and, and complicated world where we face you know, challenges from, uh, um, uh, you know, from, uh, from bullying to, to, to eating uh, uh, the disorders to issues of identification, to this, you know, our teenagers living in this parallel world of, you know, physical world and the virtual world, that we adapt our mental services to make sure that we offer um, uh, children and, and teenagers the best possible quality when it comes to mental health. So thank you um, uh, for taking note uh, uh, of this uh, uh, recommendation. I'll be following of the progress that you make on this front with great interest and of course uh, the ministry knows that it has my full support when it comes to uh, developing innovative policies regarding mental health uh, for the Greek national health system. So um, let me again uh, congratulate all those who have been uh, involved in setting up this office. Uh, I wish you best of luck. Uh, make sure that this is uh, an office that is uh, is creative, but also I'm sure that your team will, will enjoy being in Greece. Um, uh, and uh, um, I, I wish you, you know, a lot of creative uh, um, a policy um, uh, making that will benefit not just Greece, but uh, you know, the region and why not the whole world. Uh, it would be great if this work uh, starts uh, out of Greece. Thank you very much.